Hello and welcome to Evelyn Reynolds, your one-stop channel for all things RC, uh, 3D printing, and uh, sometimes quilting. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a little short video on 3D printing on the Sanguina, Sanguina Lolu board and the A4988, uh, which, is, um, which is the main driver board for uh, several 3D printers, a very popular, a popular board. I just finished a build video on the uh, 3D printer, the, the Prusa, and uh, that had the uh, Sanguino, Sanguino Lolu board and the A4988 uh, stepper motor drivers. Uh, and I thought, oh well, I had a little bit of video specifically looking at that board, so I'm going to uh, put that up. I hope you enjoy the video, um, and uh, I hope that it answers some questions for those that are doing uh, a 3D project. Okay, let's uh, start uh, by taking a look at the uh, controller board. Uh, the previous uh, versions that uh, 3D printers I did had the uh, 2560 GT board in, um, which was fully assembled, no other parts needed to be added to it. This is uh, what is called the uh, uh, Sanguilolo board. I don't know how to pronounce it, the Sanguilolo board. Um, and this requires jumpers and it requires a new uh, step stick A4988s to be installed. This is the uh, step stick uh, A4988 that comes with the kit that needs to be installed on the board. And there's a whole bank of jumpers right along this whole bank that control the actual uh, uh, stepper motors and uh, their rotation. Uh, the default is to put jumpers on every one of these along here. So if you're just uh, looking at it, there's there's some work out on the, on the web on how you can change those uh, switch settings. You just simply put a jumper on every one of those uh, pins that are underneath uh, the board there, okay? Okay, so now we're just getting a little bit of focus and right in here, I can get a pointer here, right, and get everything on the, in the camera, right in here underneath these A4988 uh, boards, okay, the stepper motor boards, there's a bank of pins that go all the way up, okay, you need to put dip switches on every one of these as you move along, and then uh, we put on the, um, the stepper board uh, as uh, shown uh, here. Okay, and now to put on the A4988 uh, uh, step stick, uh, the, there's a little potentiometer that's on the board that's to the right, and that's what you're going to be, it's snug, okay? You actually pop this into the circuit board receiver that's on there, and push down like so, and now uh, the board is fully assembled. You just simply plug them in, making sure that all pins uh, are, um, that there's enough pins for every hole that's on the uh, socket. So just put that in with the potentiometer to the right. As you can see, I color-coded uh, where all the plugs are going to go. I've done that in advance, so I know where each stepper motor is going to be plugged in. This is where the over here is where the uh, temperature control is for the bed and the <clears throat> and the extruder. Uh, down here is the uh, stops uh, for the X, Y, and Z axes. The middle pin is not used. You're simply going to use the two outside pins. And it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no if there's a color on it, ignore it. It doesn't matter. It's simply a switch, and it's going to short the two outside. So ignore the uh, inside. These two blue blocks over here. This is uh, a direct 12 volt uh, in order to power the heated bed and the extruder. Uh, there are two little. These are 12 volt. These little two pin units, and you have to make sure you're aware of the ground, are, uh, are 12 volt outputs and they're used for the fan on the extruder and fan on the, um, uh, for the circuit board. It doesn't matter which one you use. Any of these 12 volt lines you can use. Um, I think that's it, and of course the, from the uh, unit from the AC adapter. I hope you enjoyed this short video on the Sanguino Lolu board and the A4988. And I hope that it answers some questions. Uh, as you can see, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm quite, a, quite anal retentive on marking all my things. Uh, I find that it saves problems down the road. So 
I hope you enjoyed it and uh, uh, if you like this video please say like and subscribe uh, so that um, I can do more videos. Uh, I do more videos based on on the number of subscribers. If a lot of people are subscribing to a certain topic, uh, I will continue to do videos on that topic. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon at Emerald Meadows. Bye bye.